Hey there fellow cake friends and welcome to this week's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super trendy terrazzo buttercream cake. We're going to start with a smooth buttercream finish with sharp edges and then after that I'm going to show you how to carve out little pieces and we're going to fill them up with different colors to get a terrazzo finish. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more cake videos and give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go and let's get to the tutorial. First, I'll give you an overview of how I prepare this cake for our trendy terrazzo finish. If you're new to buttercream, you can check out my class, Creative Buttercream Cakes, where I take you through the detailed step-by-step -step instructions for everything I'm about to do to get super sharp edges on these cakes right now. Find the class in the description box below. We're going to start by slicing the domes off the top of our decadent chocolate cakes. I'm going to put the link to the video last week when I made these chocolate cakes in the top right corner of this video. Please keep your fingers out of the knife's trajectory as you're slicing with these super sharp serrated knives. Once you've sliced the domes off of your two 6 inch cakes and also sliced them in half, we'll prepare the buttercream. I have my Italian meringue buttercream recipe available for free and you can check the link for that in the top right corner of this video or in the description box below. First, you're gonna scale 350 grams to 400 grams of buttercream for the exterior of your cake. I at first only scaled 300 grams here and regretted it later, so make sure you do more, especially if you're new to buttercream. It'll be a lot easier to cover your cake. Next, we're gonna be scaling 400 grams of buttercream for the filling. I'm gonna flavor mine with homemade caramel, a couple pinches of kosher salt, and vanilla bean paste to round out the flavor. Now I'm stirring through the flavoring ingredients until they're homogenous with the buttercream. I forgot to add the vanilla bean paste, so I'll add it in a second and give it a taste too, to see if I need to add anything else. Here I'm adding just about a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. This one is my favorite, Nielsen Massey, and I did taste this and decided it needed a touch more caramel, so I'm gonna stir that through as well. Find the link for this delicious vanilla bean paste in the description box below. And really make sure to stir everything through evenly so every single bite of this cake has that delicious caramelly goodness. Next, I'm coloring my base buttercream with a bit of dusky pink sugar flare coloring gel. I want a light and muted pink base for the exterior. I wanted it a bit darker, so I will add a little bit more gel. Just add to your own preference, and you can of course use any color combination that you'd like. I'm happy with the way this looks, so next to color the buttercream that will make up the small stones inside the terrazzo. I took about a quarter cup of the white buttercream into four small containers. I placed a dab of each color onto the edge of the containers and stirred them through thoroughly. Here are the colors that I used. Grape Violet from Sugar Flare. Dusky Pink Wine from Sugar Flare. Burgundy from Pearl Gel and a mix of eucalyptus and olive green to make a jade color, which I love with the pink base. Next, I will quickly assemble the decadent chocolate cake using my salted caramel buttercream. As I mentioned, if you'd like to see the detailed instructions for this part, you can find my class in the description box below where I take you through it all step by step. I'm just gonna be using a really basic technique here. I only need two tools, an offset spatula and a bench scraper. I'm now adding a third of the buttercream onto my cake and smearing it on and flattening it out. I'm of course using an offset spatula for this part and you're basically just gonna repeat the same thing with the next three layers of cake and buttercream. Then 
Then I will crumb coat the cake on the sides and the top to make sure all that delicious chocolatey goodness is sealed in there. I'll tidy up the board and let it chill in the fridge until it's firm, which usually takes an hour in the fridge or half an hour in the freezer. Using my base dusky pink color, I'm going to add some buttercream onto the top and mask it with a sharp edge. You want to be sure the buttercream is at least a one quarter inch thick so you have some room to play with when we carve out the little areas for the terrazzo stones. That's why I recommended having a bit more buttercream than I had initially scaled. What you want is a smooth and sharp finish as the base. Once you're happy with your edges and your corners, you can pop your cake into the fridge for about an hour or into the freezer for half an hour to chill. Once the cake is chilled, I'm gonna give it one last scrape to make sure the edges and the corners are super sharp and ready to go for the terrazzo. Using this paring knife, I'll start carving out little areas for the stones to be inserted. Make these irregular and different shapes and sizes and make sure you get deep enough so that if you scrape off a few layers of the buttercream, they won't disappear. I'm planning on using the jade green color for the largest stones, then I'll mix and match the other colors to spread them out onto the rest of the cake. Terrazzo has so many beautiful colors available. Be creative and choose one that you love. You can check out Pinterest to see some different color combinations, they have a ton there. I won't bore you by making you watch this entire process, so I'll speed it up a little here and then we can get to filling in the little stones with our colors. I'll start by filling out the jade stones first because these will be the largest ones. Use a small offset spatula and smear the buttercream into the large crevices. Comment below and tell me which buttercream texture you'd like to see next. Marble or concrete? I'd love to hear what you think. For all your stones, you want to make sure that you're smearing them in two different directions. So uh, you can see I'm doing it up and down here and kind of pressing the buttercream into each crevice so that you don't end up with any air bubbles. Next, I'll start filling out the purple stones. I'm choosing pretty randomly, but try to be sure that they're fairly evenly spaced out. I'm going for the mid to large size stones here so that it's the second most predominant color after the jade. Next I'll move on to the burgundy color and try and get most of the mid to small size stones. I'm saving the dusky pink that's just a touch darker than the base for all the really tiny crevices that I created. We are on to the final color, the dusky pink. Just make sure you've filled everything in by the end and don't worry how messy it looks right now. You'll see the terrazzo stone come out in just a couple minutes. Make sure there's no air bubbles, no little pockets left. Just make sure it's all filled in with buttercream so that when we scrape it and reveal the terrazzo, it will look beautiful and smooth. Once you're finished filling it all in, you're going to chill your cake in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes to make sure it is really firm. Grab your bench scraper and a clean bowl and begin to firmly scrape off layers of buttercream. Be sure to clean off your spatula every time so that the colors don't smudge together. Keep going around the cake until you can see your terrazzo revealed. This was an experiment for me and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The things I'd recommend for you to do when you're making it are one, mix your base color and your stone colors really well. My colors could have all been a lot cleaner looking. Second, make sure you chill your cake really well every time, as I mentioned to do so in the video. And if it isn't firm enough, just keep chilling it until it is. It will make your life so much easier. Mine was not here. 
And finally, as I mentioned, I would have used 350 to 400 grams of buttercream for my base so that I had a bit more to play with when I was scraping the areas out for the stones. Tell me what you think of this technique in the comments. I'd love to know if you're going to give it a try and what colors you're going to use. I'm going to use my offset spatula to scrape off some messy looking areas near the top and I'll also use it to smooth out the top of my cake again and get rid of any imperfections. And there you have it, your trendy terrazzo buttercream cake. Thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to head down to the description box below to grab my free Italian meringue buttercream recipe so you can make this cake too. And there you can also check out my creative buttercream cakes class, which is also free for the first two months. Before you head out, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and I'll see you next week.